Hi guys, back to my vlog. Now I'm at Amsterdam Airport and I'm gonna bring you to take Emirates and I'm going from Amsterdam to Dubai first and after that I'm from flying Dubai to Singapore and the flight from Dubai to Singapore is Prima Economy so we're gonna see how the experience of Prima Economy is like The online check-in queue is way longer than the normal check-in So how do you check in? Um, you have to scan your boarding pass over here to go into immigration, I guess. Tap in and let's go! It was quite a quick process to get a boarding pass because I didn't check in online and the check in online queue is ridiculously long. So, yeah. So, just uh, after you drop your luggage, you just tap to the boarding pass and go inside. And now I think we are going to immigration. So, yeah, see you shortly. 20 minutes later I cleared the back check and also the immigration and I bought some breads to bring home and the funny thing is they don't have a big old bag so they is in like a bigger bag then now I'm walking to the gate coming to be home Today Amsterdam is like the perfect weather, there's sun and it's not raining so yeah, look at it. Every time I come it's like raining. Come here. Nice right? And yeah, I'm walking to the gate so we are back. I actually didn't know my seat was with extra leg room because I took two Emma's check and I guess I'm lucky. Much, much later. So the table is actually hidden in the divider. I'm having ravioli served with appetizer and sticky toffee pudding. Do you guys eat the bread? Because I realize a lot of people don't eat them. Why though? of cheese and crackles. Any cheese lover here? It is a British dessert. Choice 
because of beef burrito which I had previously so that's why I didn't order this time so I tried the very beauty so. much much later arrived at Dubai Airport from uh, Amsterdam. Now it's about 12.30. Uh, there's slight delay and I'm really really tired. I keep falling asleep but like my butt hurts. I keep like shifting and can't find a spot. It's quite bad. So now I'm walking to um, my gate and it's about 10 to 15 minutes walk. I'm just gonna take my time because my flight is at 3 so I have plenty of time. 10 more hours to Singapore plus transit time. Yeah, I'll be heard back home soon. There's many gates and the estimated time for how to go to your gate is um, from 5 to 45 minutes. Well, that's a big range. So apparently to go to uh, gate A, I have to take a trap. At this hour, they are still open. It's crazy. It's a normal area for her to sit and there's like a lying area for her to lie down to. Much, much later. So now I'm going to board the plane and it's bigger and colder and I will see you. This is the interior of how it's, it's quite luxurious. This is where I'm sitting. The living room is pretty good. Really spacious and you can put your bags underneath as usual. I think this foot rest. There's a foot rest. I think this is where you pull up your table and uh, I'll show you later lah uh, when I experiment it. You can put some stuff here, put some stuff here. Yeah. Hey, phones is at the bottom. Inside the amenity pouch, it comes with socks, eye masks, and also the earplugs. I'll come back. Please leave the aircraft, thank you. Uh. Shortly after departing, they start serving the light bites, which is the sandwich. And there's also macarons and a cake. Here we have scrambled egg with mushroom, yogurt, and also fruits.
by the same door. Actually, it is the same. Twenty amenities. But they have a full size bank mirror. It is definitely worth it to take the premium economy, so I recommend you guys to try.